My name is Gayla Bentley, and I am the designer and founder of the Gayla Bentley Fashion Design Group. And I am here tonight to ask you for your wisdom and your experience. What about the money? And, good question, $250,000 for a 20% equity stake in my company. I am representing 60% of the American women that wear a size 12 or larger. You know us. We're your neighbor, your sister, your friend. And we are tired of being discriminated against, being forced to shop in the far corners of the department stores only to find clothes that don't fit and that we don't even like. I've spent the last 10 years focusing on building the Gayla Bentley brand, modern sizes for modern women, sizes 12 to 28. We would like to open our first Gayla Bentley flagship store in Houston, Texas, where I'm very, very popular. Like, Barbara, if you and I went shopping, how come we have to split? Oh, I'll see you in a little while. I'll go upstairs with my flashlight and try to find something to wear. And you just stay down here on the first floor where everybody will help you, okay? This is why I want to put these type of things on the first floor, integrate the sizes. I've dedicated my life to this for 30 years now. I've been in retail management with Saks Fifth Avenue. But you're only 25. How can that be? Oh, my God. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> anyway, let me, let me concentrate for a That's moment. Right. <laughs> Is it possible that larger sized women, and don't beat me with a stick, because I'm just trying because to find out. Because there are four out. of them here. All okay, right. I'll try not to. Don't care about fashion as much. That's why the oh market my, doesn't service them. My, 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 my. Gayla, beat oh. him with a stick. Oh my God. Beat him with a stick. No, but Gayla, I believe the market always serves demand. Yes. That's the way the world works. But there always has to be one pioneer. Is that you? It's going to be me with your help and wisdom. What are, can you tell us what these items sell for retail yes. as you demonstrate? Yes, this would sell for 470. 470? Yes, it's a luxury coat. Wow. It's Italian wool, very lightweight and very tailored. What is that costing you to make that the the jacket? One twenty-five. Wow. No. Okay. Wow. <laughs> hey. You are getting that at one twenty-five. That's Italian wool. Yes. It's a beautiful Even, jacket. Thank you. What retail stores are you in? I am online with Neiman Marcus. So, Gail, you don't have a store now. You only wholesale. I've only been working you wholesale. You wholesale goods. Yes. Totally. What are your sales today? My sales in the last six years are a little under half a million. Oh my goodness. 500,000 over six years? Oh no, a year. Oh, oh a year? Well, that, yes. Hi. Oh, sorry, We darlings. thought you were doing under 100,000 a year. Oh no, no, no. We couldn't survive. Look at us. We're very well, high maintenance. That, my next question. You know we need more money than that. My next question was going to be what do you eat? What do you survive? Well, you on? can see we're eating carbohydrates. That's all we can afford. <laughs> 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 you know? Okay, Gayla, so, so I'm stuck on one thing. Okay. It, I, the skinny buyer that buys fashion, they won't put larger sizes in the retail. I gotta know why, why Gayla. Got, yes, can I tell you why? why? Yeah. They don't have any clothes in their luxury retail space. Over a size 12. Yes, I, I understand that. That's why this is such a great yeah. opportunity. But why don't they have them? Because it's not the luxury yes. look when we are. Is that true? Yeah. Not, that's why we're tired of being discriminated against. Yeah. I they find that hard to believe. No, it's true. To the world, luxury is not plus sizes. This is not luxurious? Not to them, not to the world right now. We need someone to be a pioneer to break through. I just want to ask the most important question, which is, Barbara, you have to be honest. Is this some good stuff? I happen to think the clothing's beautiful, without a doubt. And I think the attention to de detail uh, is usually very expensive to be done. Right, Damon, is her idea to now expand the line by opening up a flagship store the right strategy? It all depends. I don't know. I do believe that she can make a new space. I mean, that's exactly what I did. There was not a young men's market in 1990 until we made that so-called urban space. So she but Damon, hang on a sec. If fashion is really about the brand, the designer, why go after just large? Why can't she go after the entire she, market? That, and that is a good point because that some of these pieces, I think, would be attractive. Well, that's what I'm saying. Anybody. I Thank love this stuff. That. But it's a crowded field if you go out there and, and, and put those designs But to... they don't want to buy the large Excuse stuff. Excuse me. I want to mention that I didn't mention. It's a $30 <laughs> billion dollar a year industry. And wouldn't you like a piece of that pie? Gail, you've done a good job of getting to this point. Thank Let's you. Let's go back to the 250000 for a Thank second you. for me. Okay. Why do you now want to take 250000 
and open a retail store. And as an investor, how would I ever get my money out of sinking it into one retail location? Because we're gonna roll it out into others. This will be the first one, and the Simon Malls. This is the worst time in the history of retail. But let me tell you, since the first quarter, the wholesale went down. So I had to think quickly on my feet because I didn't want to stop my momentum. I said, why don't we take the front part of our wholesale showroom and turn it into retail? We're up 137% with my average sale being $1,000. Good for you. Why do you need 250000 from me to open up a retail store? Why not just do it on your own? I, I go into the banks and they're not in the mood to lend right now. I'm sure that's the case. Okay, look, there's so many different um, products here. And when I do an infomercial, I have one product right. in 30 minutes. When I see all the sizes, and now to couple that with retail, it's a very scary business for me. So Before I'm going to leave this out. to the experts here. Before you go out. Yeah. Which is, is that where you're going? I'm going out, yeah. You sure? I have to, yeah. Let me because just stop it, it, you a minute, okay? I've been watching QVC. There's some adorable little guy that's demonstrating his clothing exactly like she's demonstrating, and yes. he's selling off the shelves. I have right now a home shopping network pursuing me. I did not want to sign any contracts mm -hmm. until I came to see you all, because I need someone with your wisdom and experience to help make sure I make the right deal. And she's adorable. She's got that instant thinking on her feet charm. She's and I think I do great system. on that. We want to do the deal, but I don't want to do it and make sure I make the right deal. Kelly, I, lo I love the story. I, I have a huge amount of respect for the sales you built in your business, but bricks and mortar is the wrong strategy. I know enough to know that's wrong. For that reason, I'm out with a heavy heart. Okay, but I am flexible and I am open to what we think would be the best thing to do here. I think the home shopping is a good way to go because I think it builds my global brand with more people looking. I gotta get my name out but there. all roads lead to this fact. Yes or no, true or false, you are shut out of retail where 90% oh of God, clothes you are, are sold. really ruthless. No, no, I'm telling the truth. You are really right. Thank you. Gayla, I cannot be the pioneer with the arrows in my back, all Zolling. right? Darling, it's okay. I'm out. That's quite all right. Gayla, I was gonna say it before, but I'm gonna say it now. Thank you so much, but I'm out. You sure you don't want to consider going in half, Kevin? I can't imagine you can't sell this stuff on air. Barbara, are you on commission with her? I mean, I've never seen a shark work so hard to bring somebody else back in. I love this lady, and you're not giving her the chance, and you guys aren't married to heavyset ladies, the truth. He's on his third, fourth, fifth, the trophy wife or something. What does any of this okay. have to do with making Old money? Old skinny. Do so right. me. What? Yeah. So, so are you talking about? Talking about? Because so you are you talking about this. Damon's trophy wife or Kevin's they trophy wife? Yeah. So what does that have to do with making money? Puppies. Barbara, because she's not listening. Here's an opportunity in an area that you can do well with. Open your ears. I'll put in half the money if you can get this clothing king and tell them, give them one more reason to go in with you. Three sharks are out. Barbara has offered to give Gala $125,000, which is only half the money that she's seeking. Gala must convince Damon to put up the other $125,000 or she'll walk away with nothing. Damon, may I ask you a question? Yes. With the success you've had with your clothing line, you have a built-in clientele for the women that wear my size. It'd be such a natural fit for the two of us to do business because you already have the distribution and the power in the industry. And coming out of the gate, this is not just a great opportunity, it's an extraordinary opportunity for hit, to hit this out of the ballpark. Let me... I jotted down some notes. You have to convince me to fall in love with you, and then after that, you have to convince America to fall in love with you. Don't lose this opportunity. You promise that you will I not promise. blow this. I promise you. I promise you that. You couldn't get a more loyal, hardworking group of people than we are. Here is, here is my proposal. I would want to go partners with you in the company, so it would be 50%. For the 250000 it would be contingent on us getting a deal with the women's house, which are many of my friends. I know Barbara wants to be in. I find that there is no need for Barbara in this deal. How nice. But I do value the fact that I would have a partner with skin in the game that does know women's fashions. An uh, eloquent female like Barbara can tell me it's crap or it's not. Yes. So Barbara? 
Are you in on it so I know what's going on? Absolutely. Okay, let's discuss this. I want to remain in creative control because I know and believe what the women want. And can we look at 45%? Keep in mind that normally I ask for 51%. So the reason why I'm asking for 50% is so you have creative control. We make these decisions together. That is why I did not make it 51%. We have a deal. Good. Oh my God, oh, fantastic! <laughs> now you can do as much touching as you want. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. I are you crying? Oh, crying. Huh? What a nice come team sit, come oh, you have. You guys are that family. You guys are family. I guess we can pick up our signs and go home now. <laughs> Let's go eat. <laughs> <laughs>